I met Colvin has worked at other breweries before and he quickly realized that there weren't a lot of people of color around. Now his plan is to expand the 18th and Vine community through beer. Always really got the bug for craft beer, loved it, and noticed that, um, you know, the whole industry in itself really didn't have a lot of people that look like me. But it took a few years for Kemet Coleman to go from giving brewery tours in other people's businesses to getting ready to open his own. The musician and marketing professional saw how COVID made it harder for people to gather around music, but they were still buying their fair share of beer. One big problem was that breweries are expensive to build, and it's often a challenge for people of color to get the right loans at the start. So when we talk about, um, you know, the, the, the systems that have been, that are in place, against people of color and against people that have been marginalized for decades and, 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 and centuries, um, that really stacks against, um, against those individuals. He says that's one of the reasons brewery associations admit roughly 1% of breweries are owned by black people. Now that Coleman and his co-founders have the money together and the brewing equipment installed, they're putting the finishing touches on their new location at 2000 Vine Street, just down the block from the heart of Kansas City's historic jazz district. He says adding a brewery will help expand the footprint of that area to the south, helped along by new apartments already being built now with plans for future development not far behind. This, the whole idea is to extend the cultural corridor of 18th and Vine to the south. Uh, we call it South Vine Street. Kemet says they'll live up to the name with live music, listening parties, and other ways to support the local art scene where it's been building up the reputation of the 18th and Vine District for generations. For us to be able to uh, be at the same space where such history was made, uh, we can only play our role to make sure that we're carrying that tradition. They are already brewing beer, too. The first beer should be available in downtown and 18th and Vine bars and restaurants in the next few weeks. The location at 2000 Vine could be open by the end of March, early April.